Now that you've made the big decision to go from hobby to hustle, it's time to take your network seriously. Up until now, you've probably been known as mom, dad, brother, sister, friend, neighbor, employee, manager, whatever it is. Now it's time to be known for your business. Now it's time to grow your network. I say it to myself and I say it to friends and family all the time. It's not what you know, it's not who you know, it's who knows you. So it's really important that now that you are taking your one-time passion project into a now profitable business, that it's important that the people that are around you to start with are the ones that know that you are now open for business. In the old days, they used to talk about hanging a shingle, which was kind of like putting up a sign to let people know that you were open for business. Now you have to do the same thing for your business, but no longer are we hanging shingles. We're just simply letting people know what we're doing is now a business. So as far as your network, I wanna focus on three key areas. One, your professional network. Two, your connector network. And three, your customer network. When I started my business a number of years ago, I was very quick to start finding ways to interact with other professional business owners, specifically in my business. One of the key areas I found that was instrumental in being able to grow my, my business faster was joining Facebook groups. Facebook has a wide number of groups available for you to join. Some of them are very specific and certainly something will fit your needs. Take some time, do some research on Facebook and join some groups, but that's not where it ends. You have to get involved in these groups. The great thing is, as many of the people in these groups probably started out the same way you did, maybe working in their home, starting on a side hustle, started as a hobby and worked their way up into an actual business. The other great thing is, is chances are they're just about, they're just as passionate about the subject matter as you are. What does that mean? It means they're willing to share. The other great thing about Facebook groups, especially if you're working on a regional business or something where you're not necessarily working online, is that they don't see you as competition. If I'm in Maryland running my business and I interact with somebody in California running their business, we can have the same business. The chances of us being competitors is very slim. The great thing is that means they will be more than willing to share any information they have with you. And let's face it, success leaves clues. So if you can learn from somebody who's already been there, done that, and has got the t-shirt, why not? Facebook groups have been amazing for me over the last eight years when I started a new business. They continue to be an integral part of what I do today. Got to be a little bit careful though. I will say this, Facebook groups, I could sign up for 10 Facebook groups of the same subject matter, and some of them are gonna be really good, and some of them, not so much. But take the ones that work for you, leave the others alone. The other big important part of joining any group, whether it's Facebook or any kind of other online forums, is you have to interact. You have to engage. You have to give just as much as you're looking to receive. When you do that, then your network grows even stronger and people start to want to interact with you. You can also share, you have experience. People are gonna to wanna to hear about it. And the more that you can share, the more people are gonna to wanna to share with you. So that's a big one, professionals, uh, professional networks. Another opportunity in professional networks is co-op groups. Etsy actually started out as basically an online co-op for people selling crafts and arts. There's other groups like that if you're working in a region, um, if you're working regionally, that you might wanna work with another um, brick and mortar co-op group. Maybe you're making jewelry and you can find a co-op um, store that offers opportunities for other artisans to come in and sell their wares. So that's another great opportunity. Another um, professional network that you could look into is a chamber of commerce. There's usually one in every county in pretty much every state in the US. What does that mean? It means you can join this group and interact with other business people. Interesting thing with chambers of Chamber of Commerce networking is chances are there's not gonna be a lot of businesses that are doing what you're doing, but what you'll find is a lot of businesses that are not doing what you're doing. 
And that's great actually, because as you become known for your business, people will start to refer customers to you. If you're making amazing jewelry and you're the only person in the chamber of commerce that's making amazing jewelry, guess what you become? The jewelry guy or girl. So those are great opportunities on the professional level. Now let's talk about the connector network. I like to call this influencers and supporters, really supporters. Influencers has been used a lot in social media by people who are just using their name and their status to talk about other products. And this is fine and there's a place for it in the marketplace. And certainly if you have people that have a great following, you can talk to them and maybe they can help support um, and influence other buyers. But really what I wanna talk about with your connector network are supporters. Initially, everybody's mom loves what they do, right? I know mine does. And she tells everybody about the business that I have. And that's great. But there's other people in your network that will be just as supportive and maybe not necessarily use your product or service all the time. That's fine. They're gonna be a connector. They wanna support you and they know people. It's kind of like that old shampoo commercial. She'll tell two friends and she'll tell two friends and so on and so on. And this is how your network grows. So take real careful attention to recognize people that are in your network now that can be connectors to people that are customers. Be sure not to set them aside. Make sure you give them special attention. Make sure they know about the things that you're doing with your business. Ask them how you can help them to help you, okay? Again, just like the professional groups, engage with those people that you know can connect you with other people who can be your customers. And again, the third group I talked about, or I wanna talk about is your customer network. Once you have a customer, it's important to keep a customer. Somebody who buys from you once is likely to possibly buy from you a second time and a third time. So as you engage in these customers, or as you work with customers, it's important to engage with them. Get an email address, find out why they bought from you. Find out if there's something else that you do that they might buy from you in the future. It's important to keep this engagement. The other thing you can have them do is write reviews about your product. Now they become a supporter and influencer as well. Also ask for referrals. If somebody really likes what you do, they're gonna tell their friends. Now the flip side of that is if they don't like what you do and you give them bad service, they're also gonna tell their friends. So ensure, to ensure that you treat your customers with respect. Also, as you engage in any one of these networks, it's really important to do one thing, be kind. An old mentor of mine always used to tell me, people will buy from people they like. And it's true. I set out to make friends. Guess what? Friends will buy from you. Friends will tell their friends about you. Friends will tell their friends to buy from you. So when you're engaging in these networks, whether it's professional or connectors or customer networks, whether it's a Facebook group or a chamber of commerce meeting, it's important to be kind and be authentic. Don't pretend you're somebody that you're not. People will see through that. Be genuine, be authentic, and be kind, and your network will continue to grow day in and day out as you build your business. It's really not that hard. Put on a smile, be kind, and get out there and grow your network.